Hey everybody, my name's Andrew. I'm, uh, I'm making here at Narwhal Labs today in the new maker space where I'm gonna be taking on my first project. Uh, my first project here is a challenge we're taking on uh, from a YouTube channel called Braille Skateboarding. Ow! going to be replicating a rip surf for them in a more traditional skateboarding layup process with carbon fiber and maple. The process we're going to be going through to make this is a fairly traditional skateboarding layup. We have a big mold here uh, made out of MDF. We've got our skateboard ply, we've got our carbon, and we're going to be using a bunch of total boat resins to uh, vacuum form a uh, skate deck down to the, the form that we've made. Let's get ready, let's go over and we're gonna do the dry run. We're gonna be uh, just making sure we've got all the material we need, do a quick inspection. So let's get this stuff moved over to the table that we're gonna be working at and let's get after it. So the first step that I'm gonna take now that we have the mold over on the table that we're gonna be doing the glue up, we're gonna make sure that we tape the surface of the mold off where all the resin is gonna be uh, with this beautiful flower packaging tape that we've got here. Just trying to make sure that um, we don't glue down to this thing when we do our final layup. Uh, just It's just an impenetrable surface and it can just be simple packaging tape. All right, now we got our mold all flowered up. We're just gonna run through this dry run, make sure we've got our material ready to go. We're gonna cut all of the uh, vacuum forming material down, prep that. And then we're good to go. We're going to be laying this up as soon as we get through this dry run. Now we're going to be cutting down all of our total boat uh, vacuuming materials. We have the vacuum bag film, which is the plastic that is the bag that will cut a little oversized uh, to capture the whole board. We have our release fabric. Um, this goes down directly on the layup and that is so it releases from these materials um, that are vacuuming down over it. It's just a, an insurance policy to make sure that it's not getting stuck to this breather fabric and it's not getting stuck to the, the vacuum bag film. So we just gotta break this down. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda lay it on the mold and we're just gonna cut it to shape. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then we're gonna get to wetting up the, the glue up and we're gonna make sure, we're, we're gonna vacuum the board down. This is just um, the release fabric for for going over the board and this just needs to be just over the size of the, gl the glue up itself but we, we cut it down to make sure that it's not going to get in the way of the seal of the bag around the whole mold. Now we need to uh, cut the breather fabric and then we're going to fit this pretty much to the same size as the release film. And this is the one that's really important to make sure we get it completely uh, over the mold and down to the flange. The reason we have the melanine here is because it's a, an impenetrable surface and we're going to be sucking vacuum all the way down to this. So we're going to be oversizing the, the vacuum bag all the way down here. We're going to be putting gum tape around, which is the tape to seal off the bag and create the vacuum. It needs to be uh, just taped down, you know, everywhere all the way around to ensure that we have like a really tight closed space. Um, it's okay if there's a little bit of uh, crinkling in the corners. As long as it gets glued down, we're good to go. This is the last part of this preparation that we've got to go through to make our bag. This gum tape, it's incredibly sticky stuff. This is glue. Strong stuff. And this is going to get taped all the way around this flange and the bag gets pushed down on here and we'll put the vacuum um, in at some point around the mold and that's how we make a, a pretty simple uh, vacuum bag you know on top of a mold. We're going to start with maple, we're going to wet it out, we're going to go with carbon on top of that and uh, just keep following that process till we've got everything wetted out and then we're going to bring the vacuum bag materials over, lay the gum tape out and suck it down. Just 
any any tailings like this, just get them out of the way. Uh, we're going to be cutting them off anyway, so it's best to make sure that as we're uh, working through this process, we're getting rid of anything that could potentially throw it off when we suck back in. So Jeff's putting the resin in the middle because we want to make sure that we're working from the center out. That way we're going to be able to push any air bubbles um, out, up, out of the edge of the, uh, the layup. So now that we've got the resin um, laid down on the carbon, we just are going to be doing this over and over again. We've got seven layers of maple and sub seven layers of carbon uh, to go down now. I'm lost in this world, but I found myself in Rio on a blanket across the ocean. Ooh. So we're just trying to level out all the resin that's on this layer. We could get away with kind of just squeegeeing it across the other layers because all of that uh, resin is going to get squished between the carbon and maple plies, but this kind of needs to go down a little more consistent because we want an even layer of resin uh, for the deck of the board. So we've got our gum tape, super sticky double-sided tape um, made specifically for vacuum bagging in this sort of application. We have this whole flange here that's uh, an airtight surface. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the backing tape on. We're gonna make sure we're pushing this tape down nice and tight. And we're going to cut the tape at length. And we're just gonna stack the next piece of tape on top of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get each end done. And then I'm gonna run tape all the way down. I'm staying off of the mold because there's a little bit of dripping that happened from the layup. And now we're going to uh, tape this down right over it and we're going to squish. You can kind of see how gummy it is. It kind of becomes like one piece of, of gummy tape. We have this hose that's gonna be sucking air out of the bubble that we're creating. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bunch of this tape and we're gonna wrap it around the end of the hose and we're gonna be able to pinch that gum tape like gum um, and fill all the voids in the plastic when it, when it goes up and over the tube right here. So the next layer that goes down is the peel ply or the release fabric which is this blue stuff. There's about an, an inch overhang on every side of the mold. Okay. So Skip's gonna lay his side down first. Um, we're gonna just roll this out really quick. This is the peel ply on the actual resin carbon fiber. We just wanna get some of these bubbles out of here uh, so we get that nice, clean, perfect finish. So now we got the breather fabric going down. This goes over the peel ply. And this is that material that allows the air to flow through so that we get a really even vacuum. We're gonna peel the backing uh, off of the gum tape and we're gonna next put the vacuum uh, in the corner, the tube, and then we're gonna throw down that bag. We've got our tape on there already. We're peeling this off. Make sure that we get a really, really, really tight connection around the tube. And this stuff's pretty much like Play-Doh. So now that it's rolled up, we're gonna push it down and then we're gonna start to shape it. We can actually shape this stuff. And now we got the vacuum in the bag. Next step is to put the, the actual bag down over this and then we're gonna pull vacuum. So I'm just gonna work the bag slowly around just tacking it. We're playing the piano. Yes. <laughs> so we got the, vac the bag going. We're gonna start to see the gauges move and we're gonna start to see how, much pound how many pounds of pressure the, uh, the bag is starting to pull. It's gonna take a minute to start to get the, the bulk of the air out, but we're gonna start to see the bag suck down and we're just gonna slowly watch the form completely drop and vacuum into place. You're starting to see that now, actually. You can see a lot of these uh, wrinkles start to tighten up. 24 hours later. 
So it's the next day, we're back at Narwhal Labs. Looks like uh, we potentially have a good glue up on our hands. So looks really looks good. good. We can definitely get a board out of this. We can start to just rip away. This is really, really good. We're gonna sand this all down so everything you see here isn't too big of an issue. Uh, flowers will go away, sadly. But uh, we're gonna be laser engraving a graphic into the bottom for the guys over at Braille. The rocker is like the shape of the board from nose to tail. All of the layers are compressed really well. What we're gonna get into next is breaking this down. Again, it's, it, we glued up a double wide uh, board so we could get two boards out of this. We need to start breaking this down. Uh, and then we're gonna get a template on this and start cutting it to the final shape of the board. So we're set up in the wood shop now. We got the board propped up on a piece of scrap. Uh, we're gonna rip this down the center line. Before we do that, we just need to mark that line. So I've got my combo square set up. Uh, just a rough estimate center line. So there we go, we got that center line. Uh, definitely need some safety glasses. You don't know where any epoxy shards can go. We've got the uh, Festool vac set up on the track saw. Yeah, we do. Check that out. Carbon maple layup. Done and done. Looks really good. We'll bring these back into the other room. We're gonna get a template printed out, cut up, and then we'll uh, we'll get to shaping these on the bandsaw. So we're here in the shop at the bandsaw. We've got our vinyl template laid down on the carbon board, and we've got our vacuum set up. Uh, plugged into the bandsaw just to, to mitigate any carbon dust. I'm going to throw my mask on, my safety glasses on, and we're going to get cutting. We, uh, we did some relief cuts on this, this cut out of the board, but we couldn't get the relief cuts for this because of the throat uh, distance on the bandsaw, so we're going to get the jigsaw ready to go. We're gonna do the relief cuts and then we're gonna head over to the drill press and uh, just drill out the nice round clean radius for the inside of these cutouts. So we got the jigsaw ready to go. It's plugged in and we're gonna do those relief cuts that we couldn't get to on the bandsaw now. So these are gonna be the relief cuts for these reliefs that actually get cut out of the outline. Next step is gonna be uh, getting a drill bit in here that can cut smooth uh, this radius. We were gonna do some smaller bits and then cut it straight, but if we can't really get in there with a tool, why not go with a radius that is gonna cut clean the first time we can sand it. It, it, will, it will give us the finish that we really are going for. So we got everything set up on the drill press. Uh, we got the right size Forstner bit. Uh, we're gonna throw the light on. We're gonna just line this up and take our time cutting through. We put a a scrap piece under it so we can drill through nice and clean with a good uh, good backing surface that you know isn't the, the cast iron table. So we're gonna get set up to sand. We'll, uh, we're gonna keep the uh, vinyl template on just for now. We kind of cut maybe like a sixteenth of an inch off the template and we're just gonna take some time blending the rails, getting everything symmetrical and then we're gonna throw a round over on everything. Hey guys, so we're back at it on the uh, Rip Surf replica uh, in carbon fiber for Braille skateboarding. And we've been hashing out a lot of our uh, problems on the prototype. We got it up to speed with the final deck. And we've been working on the flex, we've been working on caster mount positions. And we actually hacked up the uh, Rip stick, which you see here. And we've decided we're gonna go ahead, do another layup uh, with carbon fiber and maple. Uh, on the original mold, and we're gonna get that nice shape that the board uh, got molded to. We're gonna stack up a few uh, laminations of that. We're gonna carve out the caster mounts, uh, glue that down, and we should have a board coming out uh, finished tomorrow. Hey guys, Andrew from the future here. So yeah, the caster mounts that we did in the carbon glue up didn't really work out. After working on them for a day, we realized they were way too heavy for the guys over at Braille. So the team at Narwhal put our heads together and we came up with a better solution. Uh, let's head back to day three and catch up on cutting the flex patterns in the board.
24 hours later. We're down at my shop in Jamestown, Rhode Island, uh, taking a little bit of a pivot on the Rip Surf truck build that you guys have followed along on with the carbon fiber ply. And we realized that there's a little bit too much weight in these for the guys over at Braille Skateboarding to do the tricks that they want to do. So what we're going to do now is take a pivot to a steel truck that is a little bit simpler in design, much stronger, much more durable, and a lot simpler. So we just finalized the template for the steel uh, caster mounts. We're gonna go with a three bolt hole pattern. Once this is, shape is cut out, we're gonna bend it up, um, mimicking the shape of the rip surf caster mounts. And then we're gonna bend this tip down here so that there isn't any uh, live bolt right here. So I've gotta transfer this down to the steel. Let's get cutting. So I'm just trying to get the template perfectly lined up. We're trying to use all this material across the three inch bar and I'm taking this center punch. I did this drawing in CAD and I'm just doing uh, some preparation work by punching the hole uh, where the drill bit is gonna go through the steel. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hold down the template that I cut out and I'm gonna trace around the piece of paper and that inside of that line is gonna be the final shape of the caster mount. We just got the uh, the caster mount plate cut out on the bandsaw. We have our holes punched right here and we're set up on the drill press to start drilling our holes. So we've just cut out uh, or drilled out uh, the holes for the mounting of the uh, trucks to the board and then the hole for the caster. And now what we're gonna do is go in to the areas around here and soften them by grinding them on the benchtop grinder here. So we're gonna score across here with the angle grinder and a cutoff disc in two spots. And then we're gonna bend it into shape to recreate the angles that the casters need to be mounted at uh, that, on the rip surf. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna backfill in with the TIG welder and uh, lock the angles into place. All right, so we just finished up the welds. Now we're gonna throw each uh, caster mount into the vise and we're gonna wire wheel all of the scale off and then we're gonna go to the polisher. A little later. So we're back from my studio in Jamestown and we have our logos ready to go on the board but before we do that, we need to finish up the rails. We're gonna take this trim router here and do a complete profile all the way around from the top of the deck to the bottom of the board. We actually have done it in a test just to sample just to make sure that the outcome is going to be successful. This is the final board and we really want to make sure it goes smoothly. So I just finished up routing the rails of the board and finish sanded everything. We're at the Thunder Laser and we have the files ready to go. So I'm going to throw the board in and we're going to get to cutting. And you want to make one of these out of like carbon fiber or something and you're going to write, I like rip on the bottom there. <laughs> Let me know. I like skate. Wow, it came out great. <laughs> it came out really great. Um, so we threw the I like rip in there and then we have our uh, Braille's logo and our logo. So the next step is going to be to put some wipe on poly on everything. Uh, we're going to hit this with some 320 sandpaper really quick just to get that definition back out. We're going to put one coat of wipe on poly on it tonight, two coats tomorrow, and the board's done. Uh, we got a little sanding block and we're just going to hit the high spots between the letters. Uh, I'm not trying to take any of the color out of the engraving, but we're trying to get some of the wood to pop. All right, looks pretty good. Let's get some poly down. Now we're ready to lay down some Total Boat Halcyon Clear on the deck. We have all this amazing carbon, but we can't get that pop that we want out of it. We've got 
the white bond poly on the bottom, we put three layers down, and now we want to bring out uh, the qualities of the carbon on the top with this clear coat. Ooh. I got this. <laughs> Way too much. Everything's looking great. The halcyon went down really smooth. We cleaned up all of the edges. Now we're gonna just leave it here to cure for about an hour till it's dry to the touch. Then we're gonna bolt the trucks on, get this thing fully assembled. A little later. So the board's dry now and it's time for final assembly. We, the halcyon clear coat went down really great and the carbon's looking awesome. Our caster mounts came out great and we have the hardware here. So let's get ready. To, to put the trucks on, we're just gonna pop the hardware through the bolt holes. And there it is. Our carbon fiber layup rip surf for braille skateboarding. So we had so much fun on this build and we learned a ton. And there were a lot of challenges involved that we didn't really see from the beginning but I'm so proud of the whole team at Narwhal Labs for putting our heads together and coming up with the best version of the rip surf that we think we could. Thank you to Ricky and the guys over at Braille Skateboarding for the inspiration for this project. We hope we did you proud and we expect nothing less than you guys absolutely skating and destroying the rip surf that we're sending you. So if you wanna see more of the rip surf build that we did, head over to Braille Skateboarding's channel to check out the full video of them skating this board. If you wanna win one of these boards, both of our channels are doing a giveaway and the information for that is in the description below. We really hope you guys loved the video and loved the build. Uh, stay tuned for the next one and thanks for watching.